I love how strong being trans has made me. I've had to fight for like everything I've had. So this is the dress I wore when I won Homecoming Queen, when I was the first transgender Homecoming Queen. So today my mom and sister are coming over. I wanted to bring you guys here today because I wanted to tell you that I personally don't think you need it. Hi, I'm Lana. I am an esthetician, a drag performer, and Missouri's first trans homecoming queen. I gravitated towards like Barbies and makeup and girly things. But when I was in middle school is when like I started actually like wearing makeup and wearing like more female clothes and more playing into my femininity more. Makeup really gave me confidence like made me feel like the woman I always was. Like it was kind of like armor for me. I had told a high school friend in my bedroom, I want to be a girl and like, I want to start transitioning. And she just kind of embraced me and was like, Landon, I love you no matter what. I remember coming out to my mom. It was for a cheerleading banquet and I wanted to wear a dress and I was like, I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna tell her I'm wearing a dress to the banquet. I remember texting my mom, hey, by the way, like I'm in a dress. And she replied and she was like, sorry, I'm not gonna be there. And when I got home from the banquet, my sister and my mom were there and they were just kind of like, they were just very shocked. So they were like, you wanna become a woman? You're like, what does this mean? Like, does this mean you wanna get surgery? And it was just a lot to take in and I just already felt so much like pushback that I was like, oh no, like are they gonna be accepting? But after like really like educating my mom and then kind of realizing like this was what was really gonna make me happy. I think winning homecoming was like a big, Thing for them being like, wow, like her whole school accepts her. So this is the dress I wore when I won Homecoming Queen, when I was the first transgender Homecoming Queen to win. I remember being there holding my mom's hand and like the announcer being like, and your Homecoming Queen is Landon Patterson. Wearing this again, it reminds me of like the accomplishment, all the happiness, but it does take me back to like thinking of like, wow, I was like protested. Winning just felt like a big F you to my haters. They protested after the fact that I won, which I, the church did. And I just kind of felt like who gives a f because I already won. All these groups were popping up of a counter protest. We're gonna counter protest them. But everyone went and literally the people that showed up to protest left after 10 minutes. Like, they, everyone ran them out. They like were like, just so much love and support and basically chased them out. And it was really cool. <laughs> so after I had won homecoming, Harvard had reached out to me through email. They wanted to have me speak at an event and just kind of tell my coming out story and my journey and like with homecoming. And I was like, and if you're not doing anything else, you should take me to the dance. <laughs> friends though, it's okay. Like, I spoke in this room where they were like, yeah, we had Lady Gaga speak here. And I was shook. I was like, oh, it was just crazy. Well, Lady Gaga was here and now I'm here. So we're basically the same person. So yeah, I don't know. It was just an unforgettable experience. And Boston is so beautiful. And I'm just so thankful for this opportunity. So today we are having my mother and sister come over. And I'm going to tell them about an upcoming surgery I want to get done. Hey. hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Hi. I'm so pretty. You guys look so cute. This is cute. So I wanted to bring you guys here today because I wanted to tell you that I'm going to be getting voice feminization surgery. And what's the healing time on this? Like when I've watched like recovery videos, like they there's videos where it says like voice at two weeks. But like when I was first doing research on it, you know, like there was girls like you couldn't talk for a month. Like you just had to be mute and like keep your voice at rest. Why do you want to have this surgery? I mean, I don't think my voice is awful by any means, but I don't think it's where I'd want it to be. I personally don't think you need it, but 
I mean, if you want to do it, I totally support you. But I just, I think you sound fantastic. I'm there for you if this is what you want. So start saving your money. <laughs> I'm very proud of Landon. She's overcome a lot of things and she's set her mind to do something and she's always followed through. She's always been a success at what she's put her mind to. So I am very proud. Oh, love you. Okay, I'll call you. Bye, Bye guys. Love you. I just love being 100% me and confident in that. And I love how strong being trans has made me and the the journey like it it wasn't given to me i've had to fight for like everything i've had i can do anything i set my mind to and i love that